Good morning, boys and girls. So I'm going to do this math assignment with you so that in case you missed the math lesson or if you just need to watch it a couple more times, it's here for you to use. So remember how we talked about morning meeting? These three questions we have not gotten to yet in our math. So we're just going to cross out four, five, and six. And just zoop, those can go away. Oops. All righty. So I just need to focus on, I'm going to use blue, one, two, and three. Number one, I'm going to zoom in so we can see a little bit better. All right. Which of the following shows the number in expanded form? So I'm going to look at my hundreds first. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So I look at my choices. The only two that have 600 are C and D. So I know it's not A and I know it's not B. All right. Now I look at my tens. I have 10, 20. And then my ones, 21, 22, 23. So I have 600 and 20 and three. Oof, there we go. Which one matches? They're both really close, but if you look carefully, the answer is C because this one says 30 and it's not 30. Number two, which of the groups of numbers is order from greatest to least, that means the biggest to the smallest. 672, 651, 641. This one's the biggest and this one is the smallest, so it could be A. 672, 641, 652. Well, 41 is less than 52, so it's not B. 651, 641, 672. Those are all mixed up also. 650, or I'm sorry, 641, 651, 672. That's least to greatest. That's the smallest to biggest. So I know it's not that one. The answer is A. What numbers, or what number makes the number sentence true? So 5,493 is less than. The smallest point here is pointing to the smallest number. Do you see how this side is bigger? It's pointing to the bigger number. The alligator wants to eat the bigger number. So if I have 5,493, uh, 5, I know that's smaller than this number. So I need to find numbers bigger. 5,394, 300's less, not going to work. 5,483, 8 is less here and the rest are the same. It's not going to work. 4,492. Oh, it's so close, but it's one less. That won't work either. 4,000, or I'm sorry, 5,498. Yes, that one is bigger. It's the only one that will work. Remember, we are not worrying about four, five, and six today. Cross that mess out. We don't need to do it. We're moving on to page two. Now, some of you have deleted pages on your assignments, and I don't know how you've done that, but um, that is not helpful for anybody because you still have to do it. And it makes more work for me to have to go in and find the assignment and reassign it to you so that you can get your grade. So please, please make sure if you're accidentally deleting these pages, don't do that. All right. So our lesson today, we're adding with an expanded algorithm. It sounds really hard and really fancy, but it's so easy. We're breaking apart numbers and we're just adding them. So it adds 134 and 221. And it even breaks it apart for you. We did this one in our morning meeting, Greg, remember? So I'm going to start with my ones. Four plus one is five. And if you don't want to use the um, marker tool, you can totally use the text box. 30 plus 20 is 50. And 100 plus 200 is 300. There we go. And then it gives you these three spaces here. Now you need to put these values there. So I'm going to put in 300 plus 50 plus 5. And when I get my total value and I add them all up, it will be 355. Or I can use the text tool, 355. But boys and girls, you have to have all of this work done, okay? You have to... Add these three separate, put them here and add together. If you just give me 355, I will send it back. And if you try resending it back in again without fixing it, I will send it back in again and call mom. 
okay? You have to take your work seriously. Do not just pull out a calculator and do this. We're doing this work for a reason. Because when you get to your test at the end of the year for the SBA, it's gonna ask you to show this work. And if you don't show the work, it doesn't matter if you get the right answer or not. They're still gonna mark it wrong. You have to work hard and show your work, okay? So you're gonna do that for one and two. Three and four, it gives you the lines, but you still have to show the expanded algorithm, okay? It may not give you the lines to do that, but you can do that on the side. So 344 plus 421. So I can say 300 plus 400 is 700. 40 plus 20 is 60. And four plus one is five. And then when I add those together, it's 765. Okay, I can make it smaller. I can put it off to the side if I need to for number three. Same for four, okay? Mac wants to find 291 plus 407. He adds the hundreds, tens, and ones. And then he adds those sums together. What sums did Mac add to find the answer? It's not asking for the answer, y'all. It's asking what did he add together to get the answer. So he added 200 plus 400 to get 600. Then he added 90 plus 0 equals 90. Finally, he added 1 plus 7 equals 8. That's what it's asking you to do. Same thing. You can make it nice and small and just move it over there. At Green School, 325 students walk, bike, or ride to get to school. There are 413 students who take the school bus. How many students go to Green School? So 325 of them walk, bike, or ride, plus 413 that ride the bus. 325 plus 413. You do not have to do the expanded algorithm for this one if you do not need to. But I also don't want you just popping out a calculator, even though I know we all have one on our computer and on our cell phones. Okay, working hard. Lauren's trying to find how far her family travels on a road trip. On the first day, she threw, they drove 436 miles. So I'm going to highlight that number because sometimes these word problems, my numbers can get lost. The second day, they drove 342 miles. How many miles did they drive in all? And explain how you found that answer. So they added 436 plus 342. But it's asking how we got that answer. It just doesn't want the answer. So I'm going to use the expanded algorithm. 400 plus 300 equals 700. 30 plus 40 equals 70. And 6 plus 2 equals 8. And then I add, oops, and then, ah, I can add those all together on a separate one. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it fits a little bit prettier. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to add those together. 700 plus 70 plus 8 equals 778 miles in all. And then I can add that right here. Okay. It says explain. You don't have to use words to explain it. Just showing me how you added, that's an explanation to me. Okay, so if you show me how you broke it apart like this and then give me the answer, that's explaining it. Or you can say, I added 400 plus 300 equals 700. And you can type that out. Or you can use the mic to tell me too. You can say, Miss Mannering on number seven, this is how I did it. Okay, you've got lots of options. Which of the following shows the sums of the hundreds, tens, and ones for 627 plus 361? So it's asking when we get to this point and we're adding them together, what would that look like? If you need to pause and rewatch the video, please do so. That's why I spend the time making these for you guys so that you can rewatch it, you can pause it, you can think about it, okay? Make sure that you watch this a couple of times if you need to and I will see you in math class.